As children of God, there is the glory, there is the light that we carry on the inside of us. That it doesn't matter if there are a million people around us. It doesn't matter if there are people that are not as holy as us. Sir. It doesn't matter if there are people that are not calling the name of Jesus. Sir. The devil is not interested in going after them. Sir. It is those of us that he knows sir, that if I give these ones a chance sir, to break forth, sir, not only will they take a step, they will go a mile. Sir. If I give them the opportunity to propagate the gospel of Christ, sir, then it means that instead of reaching a thousand, they will reach ten thousand. And that's why Jesus could tell him that Satan has asked for him. And Jesus was trying to remind him that there was nothing to worry about. The Bible reminds us that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And Jesus affirmed to us that he has come that we may have life and have it what? Abundantly. So it's not a little bit is to have it in abundance. So there is something that even when we ourselves don't see that we have it, it is in us. Now, Peter had no idea how the devil was going to ask after him. He had no idea how the devil was going to come for him. But God's word reminds us <laughs> that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered us from them all. Not one of them, not two of them, from them all. And I just want to remind someone today, times when you are feeling weary, or you are feeling like things are not going the way you planned, uh, you should start reciting that verse. It's important. Especially when we are out of what I would call our comfort zone. And what do I mean by our comfort zone? To some of us, our comfort zone is when we can pray before something happens. And we pray for the good things because nobody prays for bad things. We pray for the good things. And once something comes along the line, we are out of our comfort zone. For some of us, it might be in the company of friends or family. That is our comfort zone. For some of us, it might be in the church. That is our comfort zone. And once you are there, everything seems to be perfect. And it seems like the world is cut off from us. The world is not cut off from us. We are the salt of the earth. We are not the salt of our lives alone. We are the salt of the earth. So that means that just like the salt is as it alters the course of things, uh, the moment we find ourselves out there, that is when we should be like the salt.